Anyone who's ever lived through a hurricane knows that these are the biggest, baddest storms that nature dishes out. A large hurricane can be up to 600 miles across and it packs the power of many nuclear bombs. We see that power unleashed on places like Florida and Louisiana every year during hurricane season. Given their amazing power when they arrive in the United States, hurricanes start out in a really simple way. A normal thunderstorm in Africa gets blown out to sea and once it gets over water it begins to gain power. The ocean around the equator acts like a gigantic solar collector. As the air rises up the center of the thunderstorm, it cools off and it dumps its moisture and all that energy adds to the storm. The rising column of air gets stronger and it starts creating rotation. The rotation is the same kind of thing you see when you watch a whirlpool form in the sink. Only in a hurricane it's happening at a massive scale. As the storm spins faster and faster, the wind speed picks up. As soon as the speed hits 75 miles per hour or more, you have an official hurricane. The trade winds naturally blow from Africa toward the United States in the summer. These winds push the storm across the Atlantic and the storm builds power the entire way. By the time it reaches the United States, the storm has winds of 100 miles per hour or more and it's hundreds of miles across. Now one of three things happens. The storm can come undone and disappear, or the winds can shift and blow it harmlessly up the coast, but in the worst case, the storm hits land, and when it does, it creates an incredible mess. 100 or 150 mile per hour winds can blow the roofs off houses, knock down thousands of trees, take out power lines, and it blows mobile homes right off their foundations. The wind can also push a huge wave of water in from the ocean. If that wave happens to arrive at high tide, it can destroy everything that's close to the beach. But the worst thing is the rain. A big hurricane can dump one to two feet of water on land in less than a day. This rain causes massive inland flooding and then it makes its way down rivers and creeks and creates this huge mess downstream. In bad situations, entire towns end up underwater. This wouldn't be so bad if it happened once a decade or something like that. The problem is, in the United States, we can get several big hurricanes hitting the coast in a single year. The amount of damage that can be caused by a big hurricane is shocking. So that's how hurricanes work. I'm Marshall Brain, and that's how stuff works.